Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another squad builder. Now these squad builders are fun to do and you guys might look at this uh, formation right now and be like, no Cal, not another 3-5-2, but let me quickly explain to you why that is. I've actually wanted to use this team in a few wagers and my personal favorite formation is the 3-5-2. It's the strongest one for me, so that's why I am using this particular formation. And uh, if you guys don't like 3-5-2 teams, then that's completely fine. You don't have to watch the rest of the video, but uh, I do want to do some wager matches with it, so that's why it's in this particular formation guys but it does t consist of quite a few team of the season so if you guys do need any coins to pick up the team of the season players feel free to check out the description it's um utcointraders.com it's just cheap fast reliable all that good shenanigans that you want when you go to pick up some coins but let's take a look at the team now uh this is a bit of a hybrid there's some Bayern Munich players there's some uh, Spartak Moscow players and uh yeah there's just a whole range of different players in here so I think you guys might be interested in it if you quite like hybrids or things like that one thing I do want to say though guys if you don't um, want to pay like the big money for the team of the season players Feel free just to pick up the regular cards I mean it would make things a whole lot cheaper and uh, yeah, hopefully that sorts out your coin issue Anyways, um, the three center backs Chiellini arguably one of the best center backs in the game for me Especially his normal card is just ridiculous Bocchetti at that right center back position. He is just sweet He is I was very very impressed with him thought he was a monster then at the left center back position as well we have, for me, one of the better players in the Bundesliga team of the season. That was Boateng. I felt as though he had a lot of pace and overall a really good center back to have. He was bulky as well. Very uh, Chiellini-esque of the Bundesliga. Then at the defensive midfield role, we have Luis Gustavo. Then at left midfield, we have Frank Ribéry. And for me, unless you actually force feed the ball to Frank Ribéry, I don't think that he gets involved enough. So if you do play Frank Ribéry, make sure you pass him the ball a lot because when he's on it, he does it a fantastic job. Then at the other defensive midfield role to uh, link up with Bocchetti. We have a center defensive mid from Brazil as well. It all just works out really nicely with chemistry. And it was a player that I actually hadn't used that much previously. In fact, this may be the first team that I've ever used him in, but my god, I was very, very impressed with him. Now, a fan favorite, the right midfielder, man of the match, Emanike. Now, a few people might be a little bit nervous as to why, uh, what he's like at that right midfield position. And I actually thought he was really quite strong. I find that when I play 3-5-2, the left midfielder and right midfield Fielders can often get zoned out pretty easily, but if you play anywhere around that right hand side, you get MNEK on the ball. His strength, his pace just means he is bullying any of the um, opposing left backs or anything like that. So you should do a fine job of bombing down that wing. Now, at center attacking midfield role, we do have Carlos Eduardo. For me, one of, if not the best center attacking midfielder in the game, uh, especially considering how many coins he costs. He is just the perfect center attacking midfielder. You have his finishing, his pace, his. Um, yeah, his passing is all just magnificent for a center attacking midfielder. Now we have the monster that is Balo. Balotelli, he does what he wants, when he wants, how he wants. He is a monster in this game, and his team of the season card really impressed me. So for that reason, I wanted to put him in this team. But in order to get him some good chemistry, because obviously he doesn't link up well with Carlos Eduardo, I had to make sure we had someone like Pato there, who also played in AC Milan. And I apologize if you hear any sort of plane or helicopter flying over. Uh, yeah, I have my uh, door open at the moment moment so you guys might hear that but uh yeah I mean you just take a look at those striking options those are insane Balotelli for me is his team of the season card is just banana crazy and it's, just, yeah, it's literally redonkulous I'm not even joking guys so let's hop into some goals let's get some gameplay on the screen now so you guys can kind of get a understanding as to what this team is like to uh, play with there are a few funny goals that um were kind of weird so if you guys spot those uh yeah there was I don't know why but whenever I try and get goals with particular teams I always end up uh you know getting these really weird lucky goals so especially the last one I found to be quite funny but uh, let's talk a little bit about the team who I liked who I didn't like and uh, of course I'm going to be using this team for wager matches so for that reason uh, I, I had to make it you know slightly sweaty I wanted to make sure I win these sort of games and um uh, that was exactly the plan I went into. So, obviously, Ribery, he's great when you get him on the ball. He's a magician when you get him on the ball. But it does take a lot of effort to get him on the ball. Because he doesn't necessarily work hard to go and chase down the ball. He doesn't have that great sort of, uh, I don't want to say work rates, but more just a determination to get a hold of the ball. Anyways, uh, the worst player for me on this team, guys, and this might seem absolutely bizarre to you guys, is in fact 
the 92 rated Buffon. I really didn't like him. Well, I don't want to say I really didn't like him, but I wasn't that impressed by him, to be honest with you. He's de there are definitely better players out there. And that there was one of my favorite goals. A nice chip through the ball. Pato just chests it and then chips it over the keeper. And the willy was served. So, uh, yeah, he just wasn't that good. He seems to parry the ball way too much for my liking. Um, you know, there's certain times where he makes some crack and saves. But overall, he just parried the ball into the um, attacking uh, player's hands way too much. And I just wasn't a fan of that at all and for that reason he's probably the worst player on this team if I would to put it that way for me Pato is just so consistently incredible um team of the season uh, Balotelli as I've spoken about uh, just very recently he is a very strong player so if you're looking for a you got a few coins to spend then definitely think about picking him up now uh, right midfielder MNEK he is impressive you know he's good um there are times where I'm like how did you not run past him you know he does have a lot of strength but at times I'm like where did that strength go which is a little bit strange but he makes the error of letting Balotelli through. Balotelli, unfortunately, doesn't manage to finish it first time. The keeper made a great save to stop it, but there's no stopping the follow-up, the clean-up crew from Alexander Pato. Now... Um, let's talk a little bit about the best way to play with this team. So with any 3-5-2 team, you really want to play quite central football. Well, that's the way I like to play anyway. Good one-two passes between um, maybe um, the attacking midfielders, the left uh, midfielders, the right midfielders. Uh, one-two passing between them and then obviously playing it through to your strikers. For me, is the best way to sort of uh, yield results with this team. It's the way um, the things work best with me. So as you can see, Balotelli is always in the right place at the right time. Now, those might not be the most entertaining goals to watch. But it just shows that uh, players are in the right place at the right time. And that's what I like so much about Balotelli. And he's just... Yeah, I don't know. The guy is just insane. But MNEK there on his left foot as well. Fires that into the top left-hand corner. And yeah, I quite like him as a right midfield. Like I said earlier, I think he is a better as a striker. But still, take nothing away from me. You can see with his right foot there from just outside of the box, he still scores some sweet, sweet goals. So that'll wrap it up for today, guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, then leave a like, leave a comment, leave all that good shenanigans. Especially if you would like to see a wager match. I left this final goal in because I found it quite funny. And I call it the back shot or the arm shot. I'm not too sure which which um you know uh limb he scored with but hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and if you did then uh, leave a comment it, would you like to see me wager with this team i think it'd be a fun team to wager with so uh, let me know in the comments below until then though guys i'll see you guys in a bit and uh, yeah don't forget to leave a like bye bye